Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about how cliff structure affects rates of erosion. Now to be able to draw this I'm going to be drawing four different cliffs and I'm going to be putting them from the fastest eroding to the slowest eroding. So as you can see over here there are four identical cliffs. And what changes is the bedding planes. These are the lines that you can see that I'm drawing on now. We've got four different types of bedding planes that are labeled on this diagram. Now, we're also labeling them um, from order of fastest to slowest erosion, as you can see, one, two, three, and four. Now, what occurs is, number one erodes fastest because their bedding planes are slanted towards the sea. This means that gravity wants to drag them and they want to slump or to slide into the sea. In number two, the bedding planes are vertically downwards. This means that water can get between these bedding planes and can weaken them, and they will topple and they will fall into the sea. Number three, however, they are horizontally stacked. This adds a, an element of strength to it, and they can, beco they can become undercut and still remain, uh, retain their uh, shape. And finally, in number four, the bedding planes are the opposite to number one, and they're slanted away from the sea, which means that they are the least likely to erode. And particularly fast. Now you need to remember that this structure, these bedding planes, is only part of the story and the type of rock also makes a huge impact on rates of erosion. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.